Hello everyone and welcome in iServe Tutorials. This time we will have a look to first configuration of your iServe EPOS user account. Vast majority of you as users already did it. But in case you are really a new person with iServe EPOS, you will probably see this kind of screen at the beginning. You know, once you will firstly log in into iServe EPOS web client. So let's go through what is ahead of us. Welcome to iSERP. Yeah, of course. So just click to next. Now, in iSERP, there are multiple functions and some of those functions need to have also more information about you in order to provide you, for example, way how to reset your forgot password or how to uh, contact you with notifications and other stuff. And that's why uh, you may be asked to enter your phone click to next and also alternate email address. Those are really used for the password recovery. So in case you will forget your password, you will be able to receive the forgotten password uh, link to your alternate email address. That alternate email address shouldn't be located on the same system, but you can use the other vendors or you know other email addresses you are having. Proceed with next. And there we go. There is another thing and that's the synchronization of email, calendars, contacts, tasks and other stuff. You can do it right now if you'd like to get access to those details and those data from your mobile device or you can skip it because we will have uh, another way how to do that later on. And by the way, there is another video guide about it. So I will skip it for a moment. And the same is also in regards of iSORP mobile application, which provides you way how to get access to your team chat, conferences and documents. Again, you can continue with that or skip for later. Even that is covered in the synchronizing with your mobile device user guide. And now our account is ready. So got it. And here's a short tutorial which will guide you how to operate in iSORP EPOS. So let's get started. It will show you that here is the activity feed on your dashboard, where you will see the recent files, recent recordings or recent uh, notes. Here is your dashboard where you can place your documents, folders, pictures, whatever file you'd like to. It's very similar to actually your virtual desktop, which is actually running in the browser. So click to next. This is how a note, which is pinned to a dashboard will look like. Yeah. This is how you can create your new folder and you can name it. You can of course also share it. And here on the right side, you see the user menu where you have the out of the office, in works forwarding, two-step authentication, you know, customization of your uh, EPOS web client, as well as synchronization with your mobile. Here on top left, you will see the favorites, those locations where you are going very frequently and therefore would be nice to have them accessible. And now we can start working. And because currently you are on dashboard and you are probably looking for your inbox is this first icon. So just click on it. And this is the shortcut back to a dashboard itself. So now we are done. Here is the welcome message, which you may or may not find. It depends on the configuration of your system but you are ready to go. So enjoy and have a look to our other videos. Thank you and see you there. Bye.